Attorney General Leonardo Rapata says provided his legal memorandum on Substitute Bill 20 to Senator Dennis Rodriguez, Jr. As we reported, the AG was not present for the public hearing on the legislation because he didn't receive notice of the hearing because it was sent to the wrong email address. In his memorandum, the AG stated that although they support the intent to identify a funding source to help the Guam Memorial Hospital, there are sections within the legislation that are problematic. Rapatis, in his memorandum, says that just because the cases were dismissed related to the gaming devices, it does nothing to change the mandate of the law prohibiting their licensure. Rapatis says the machines were illegal before the lawsuit was filed five years ago, and that was the reason why Revintax revoked their licenses. It was then Lieutenant Governor Mike Cruz, however, who ordered the licenses to be reissued. That then prompted the lawsuit by the AG's office at the time. Subsequent to that lawsuit, the AG notes the court ordered the licenses to be revoked. From there, the cases had been in litigation for five years until they were dismissed by the parties this year. Rapatis maintains the gaming machines are still illegal, just as they were when DRT revoked the licenses five years ago. The AG also points out that although there are rules and regulations that authorize the licensing of electronic gaming devices that have been registered with DRT prior to August 1, 2001, the regulation is in direct conflict with the law that prohibits licensing such devices. The AG maintains that in instances like this, when a regulation conflicts with a duly enacted law, the law must be followed, not the regulation. The Attorney General asserts that certain sections in Bill 20 contain language that would attempt to legalize the gaming devices that are currently deemed illegal gambling devices. He adds, while that is the prerogative of the legislature, those sections are ambiguous and could be subject to different interpretations. Meanwhile, in response to Governor Eddie Calvo's contention, the machines are legal based on his legal counsel's opinion. Rapata says, with all due respect, we certainly can agree to disagree and plans to forward his legal memorandum to the governor's office outlining case law and statutes that prove otherwise.